Welcome back to Stasis. I need to do some surgery on myself, and to be able to do that, I need to gather the right supplies. I've already got the oxygen, and the the anesthetic is already working. And I think... Did I get something else? No, I think it's the other two things I'm missing. I'm missing the refined tissue, of which I have a body part that I need to uh, refine into tissue. And I also need stasis fluid, which I'm pretty sure I need from this stasis pod. So, I need to uh, wake this person up. Now, I was thinking that I need to use the right drugs on them to wake them up safely. Which most likely you do. And I've noticed that all these readouts here, these, these three readouts around here, for these other stasis containers, have chemical formulas. Or formulae, I guess is, is plural for that. They have chemical formulae. Or is it formulae? I have no idea. I'm not a chemist. Only chemists know how to pluralize their own field. Anyway, so I started writing this stuff down thinking maybe this is a key to do something, but then I realized I can't seem to match it to the drugs that are listed here. So, uh, YOLO! This doesn't administer the drug to that part of the body instantly, it changes the dose. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay, well that actually makes this a lot easier in some ways, but also in other ways, I don't really know what it means. So, I need to use the right chemical on the right body part in the right dose. So let's see, this, this circles the head, so... This needs to be used on the head. Formula number two, because this down here is apparently the number of the formula. So forget trying to actually write down the formula, you know, CH, CH2, blah blah blah. Just use that. So formula two, dose four on head. Formula 2, dose 4, on head. Gotcha. Okay, this... <laughs> oh god, what... it's too broken, what... What body part is that going to? Looks like... Groin? Is that the groin area that it's pointing to? I think so. Alright, so Formula 3, dose 1, groin. And this is for... Mm, waste? Formula 3, dose 3, waste. Okay, so there's that's it for that, that, and that. But then, what about the other parts? Like, do I just forget the other... <laughs> the other parts of the body? Uh... Uh... Are there any more readouts that I missed? I don't remember any more readouts. I don't remember there being any more stasis pods. Um... Hmm. Yeah. 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 Let me just, uh, try to wake him up, I guess. And just ignore the others. <laughs> I really don't think that's gonna work. If I kill this person, I'm just gonna reload. I really want them to live. Well, hold on. Is there any way to just, like, not give a dose to these parts of the body? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. No, alright, so it doesn't even work if it's not correct. So that means I'm, I'm missing 
information that tells me what to put on the other parts of the body. How am I supposed to find that information? There's only these three readouts, right? Are there other stasis? I, I don't remember other stasis pods that I can check. Hmm. I'm gonna look around and I'll be right back. Hmm. Okay, I think the other chemical formulas that you're supposed to use are listed actually on the notes around the PDA, not not the actual notes that you read here, but actually like this right here that's duct taped to it. If you notice there's a chemical formula, formula 5, and it says times 1, so that's got to be 1 dose, formula 5. And the only thing is, it doesn't say what body part to use it on. But, uh, alright, so 5-1, I'll write that down, 5 times 1, to be used somewhere, somewhere on the body. Who knows? Injected into the toe, into the lip. Who cares? Just put, put it somewhere in the body. And uh, there's also one on this PDA. No. No, it's one. Right here. Although this one... Mm, well, it's got four dots, so I guess it's formula four, and then it says four, so I guess that's strength four. So, four times four. Formula four, strength four. Although, once again, it doesn't say where to actually put it in the body. So, I don't know about that. And as for the other one, I don't know, because I'm. it still means I'm missing one, right? I think there's one more formula I'm missing. And I checked these two PDAs already, and they don't have any notes stuck to them. So the only thing I can think of is maybe it's on the body down here. This is actually pretty cool, because I've seen notes attached to PDAs before, and I've you know, been wondering if they're actually going to be useful for something, and it looks like now they are. It's pretty cool. No? No formulas. Yeah, I still feel like I'm missing something, because I only have two out of the three formulas I need, and I don't even know where to put them in the body, or where to administer them. It doesn't seem to say. It seems like an awful lot of guesswork. So I feel like I'm still missing something. And I checked the PDA over... Oh no, I've already looked at that one. Yeah, the, there's no more PDAs that I can access. Okay, dose 4, or uh, formula 4, dose 4, somewhere. <laughs> uh, wait, crap, which ones have I already done? Uh, which ones did I already do? I think I, I did head, and then I did these two, right? So now I've got this, and then the bottom two. So let's do 4 times 4. But this one... Um, five times one. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. It only allows you to use certain formulas. This one only goes formulas one through three. So this one can't be the formula five, strength one. Okay, what about this? This one allows formula five. Okay, so this is the five. Formula five, strength one. That must be it. And this one doesn't allow Formula 4 either, so the Formula 4 one must be... this. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay, so not much guesswork. Okay, and then this is the Wild Guard, right? Yeah, this is the one I don't know. So, <laughs> let's just try them all. Wait a minute. Only two doses. And I just tried them all, right?
Alright, in that case, these must be reversed. So this is 5-1, so maybe this should, should be 4-4. Uh, four, four. So this one would be 5-1. No, this one only goes to 4. What? Okay, mmm. I messed something up. Hold on, let me relook at all the numbers. Okay, I'm I'm getting I'm really confusing myself, but I know what it must be. Right, one of the stasis chambers marked the head and showed me the formula for that, right? One of the station uh, one of the stasis pod readouts. So the head must be correct. However, these two, the waist and the the groin. Or like upper legs, whatever you want to call it. These two. These two weren't clearly marked, so I just randomly put them down. So these probably need to be swapped. So three 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 one. So this one should be three one. And this one should be three three. Okay, head, definitely correct. This, definitely correct. That, definitely correct. The only one I'm not sure about is this, so let's once again cycle through all of these. Mmm... Balls! Hmm... Okay, so I got the solution for this. Uh, I worked at it really, really hard. Seriously, I spent like 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, close to 30 minutes, just looking at all the notes and comparing numbers, and it's... I get what they were trying to do with the puzzle, and it's pretty logical. It's really just a meth... It, it's just a matter of uh, looking at the readouts on all these three stasis pods, and that gives you three clues as to the dose and chemical, and then also using two clues from the PDAs. And then for the sixth one that you need, you don't have any clues, you just have to kind of get the rest in order and then kind of try different combinations for the last one. It makes sense, and I got pretty close, but I didn't quite get there, and the reason is because I was misled by the display. So as far as which um, which chemical and which dose goes to which body part, this one is obvious, right? Because it circles the head and then has the numbers. So this one obviously goes to the head. However, what had misled me and caused me to feel like, you know, I should be getting the solution but it wasn't working, is this. This one, it looks like it's pointing to the crotch to me. There's no circle, but there's like this line, you know? Going from here to the crotch. So I, I thought this was meant to be administered there. And this one looks like there's like a line at the waist. Like, I guess that's not saying where the dose is actually going. I guess they would have been circles just like the head, I guess. But I thought that was telling me where to put it. And that's what misled me. And caused me to never get it right because I thought that those were correct and it just wasn't working. And I don't know, I tried some other stuff and it got really confusing and I have just way too many damn notes on my paper now. So I ended up just looking up a walkthrough. Yeah, I like what they're trying to do with this puzzle, but... For me, just because I get, got misled by the, the readouts, it just didn't work and ended up being really tedious, unfortunately. I mean, I like pen and paper stuff, you know? I like it when you have to write down numbers and do like a process of elimination. I think that's fine. I think that's really cool. But, you know, one little thing goes wrong. Like one little misleading thing on a readout that makes me think, oh, it's telling me this and it's actually not. And then the whole thing falls apart and that's exactly what happened. <sighs> oh well. Alright, so it's 4-2, 1-3. 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-4, 1-5. 1-
choices that got people killed. This isn't just about you anymore. I'm sorry. I need you, John. I knew having someone to speak to was too good to be true. The pale face is contorted into a horrific grimace. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. This thick, viscous syrup is a cocktail of a cryoprotectant and synthetic amniotic fluids. I think I already read that. Let's gather some up. Okay, that takes care of three out of four of the things I need. Pot is not properly prepared for the selected program. Okay, last thing I need is refined tissue. Now, when I was looking for the solution to the uh, medical bay sequence code, I did come across one other little spoiler, and that's that somebody said you need to use the pistol on the body part, I think, to, like, break it up. No. Crazy. Hmm. Hold on, I, th I think they also said something about the surgical tray or something like that. I guess I need to put it down on the surgical tray and then... organic material. Okay, I guess technically it is refined, but I'm not sure I'd really call bashing a, a chunk of meat with the butt of my pistol is really refining it very much. That seems really implausible. Also, I don't think I would have ever found that without that spoiler that I accidentally read, to be honest. I, I really don't think I would have found that. If you try to use it in your inventory, I mean... It doesn't do anything. It just says, like, no, that's crazy, or no, that's not gonna work. Oh, man. I'm lucky I didn't get stuck on that, because I accidentally read that spoiler. If I didn't, I would have totally been stuck. It's another puzzle that really needs more feedback. Like, how about you try to use the empty pistol on the body part, and it says something like, yeah, that might work, but I need to set the chunk down somewhere. I would have never thought to put it down on the surgical tray. Anyway, we're good. Please, for the love of God, get me out of here and get me to good Puzzle Plaza. I'm gonna have to push the body off the slab, aren't I? Ugh, I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm going to have to be awake for this. Hmm? Not helping. Sorry. Okay. Just... Shit. Even be careful doesn't cover it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's not like the power's gonna cut out in the middle of surgery. Shit, John. Why would you even say that? <laughs> I'm about to cut into my spinal cord. I'm allowed one joke. I'll be monitoring. Deep breath, old man. You can do this.
You may feel some discomfort after the procedure, such as a headache or nausea. Let your nurse know if you are uncomfortable so that you may be given medication and or other treatment. Head brain making figures. Warning plastic is not correctly prepared. This does not look comfortable. Also, John's fingers look very, very strange. Okay, so I guess uh, I have to- wh wait, why do I have to be awake for this? Does everybody have to be awake for their surgery? Does everybody control their own surgery while receiving said surgery? Because <laughs> that's kind of that's weird. I wonder if this is going to be kind of like that, uh, you know, the dead space scene. You know the one. I should probably save it. Uh, what's, what's this? I just pressed escape and now, what, huh? I pressed escape to try to save it. What's happening? Maybe I'm not allowed to save it? It's like, no, you can't do that, so I'm gonna reload? Oh. Oh. Huh? Okay. I am Robin, the automated surgical med pod. Your physician will explain the procedure to you. What's wrong with John's fingers? Why are they so long? You may feel some discomfort after the procedure such I'm more as worried about his fingers than the Let surgery. Let know if you are uncomfortable so that you may be given medication and or other treatment. Okay, which one do I do? Who knows? I guess that one? Guess I just go down the list. Open me up. Okay. Oh my god. Jesus. I think I better do this fast. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just clicking all the buttons. It's out! Alright, stitch me back up, please. It's not complete, you gotta stitch me back up! Oh, there's a visitor! One of them has come to say hi! Huh. Maybe it won't touch me because it thinks I'm dead? watching okay he likes the body good that was fucking disgusting With how crude that surgery was, like, there's no way John would even be able to walk for weeks. All he did was put massive staples in his back. Rebecca. No. Rebecca. Run. No. Rebecca. Run. No. Rebecca. Run. Run. John. I've been trying to contact you. I couldn't hear anything. 
evening. I thought the worst. How long was I out? Two hours. Focus on that. You should have enough drugs running for you to keep going for a few more hours. Drugs. I've never been a fan. But these are definitely the good ones. Huh. I thought there'd be some sort of a super high-tech, you know, quick tissue healer to seal them up. I didn't think it would just be massive staples. Fucking hell. If he so much as bends down, I feel like his entire back is just gonna rip open. <sighs> well, that thing is gone for now. <laughs> I can't run anymore, not surprisingly. Yeah, you really wouldn't be able to run in this current state, no way. I feel like that thing is probably nearby. I better save it. Oh, wait a minute. I can use the elevator now? Hmm. I didn't think I was trying to use the elevator. I thought I was trying to go in here. Hold on, can I go this way now, too? I thought this was locked off because of my PDT. Huh, I just can't use it. I guess not. Elevator it is. This must be hydroponics. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Where are you, John? What about the PDT? I can't try shit. Uh, hydroponics. Oh, what's left of hydroponics? The shaft's covered in growth. I'm not going anywhere. Listen, wait. Let me check the blueprints. Yes. Hydroponics has a service elevator. Affirmative. Keep me in the loop. God, look at how much this has grown out of control. Gotta say, though, it is nice to see something green for once instead of... red. Can you run now, John? He can. Wow, he recovers fast. The vines have grown so abundantly that their thick protuberances 
protuberances have pushed through into the neighboring laboratory. Protuberance is a hard word. Edwin Chong. Hmm. Three ways to go. Let's go this way. This is ridiculous. How did it grow this world in a few months? Yeah, if these were normal plants on a normal ship, it wouldn't have gotten this out of control in just three months. These plants can naturally develop this fast. Cain developed the technology to accelerate plant growth. Oxygen is big business. This vaporizer has been punctured by a hole, leaving a spider web of cracks in the glass. This is an evaluation platform for specimens and samples to be inserted into the glass chambers. Another monitor displaying the vessel's favorite show, Static. Hmm. A polished metal plaque is engraved with the slogan, Gardening. Just another day at the plant. Oh, I've actually still got my data tag on me. Not in me, but on me. The vines have covered many of the laboratory's surfaces. In some areas, the wall and floors can't be seen behind the tangled weave. Keda Yamada. I think there's another corpse below her. Yeah, James Herbert. Another locked door. Kane Corporation is watching you. We care. The vaporizer lies broken beyond repair, wrapped in vines. Alright, I've got two computer systems here. I'm guessing I'm going to have to vaporize something at some point. But, uh, let's check the report. The vaporizer. The perfected Mark V model of the Kane Corporation Transstate Modifier. Using advanced and unique molecularization technology, the vaporizer has the ability to shift a targeted substance between gas, liquid, and solid states without any of the structural breakdown seen in objects shifted between states on a regular basis. The Mark V is the latest model, but it hasn't yet been rolled into mass production because of the current difficulty fueling the vaporizer with resources on board the Groom Lake. Recent experiments undertaken were more than satisfactory, and it passed the Kane safety and security test with no adverse effects causing harm to the user observed. It has been graded level 4 because of the specific nature of its technology and the limited quantity of existing vaporizers. During an experiment recently carried out on the royal jelly produced by hydroponics, Dr. Gray and other observers commented on the remarkable speed at which the jelly was transformed into gas, thus placating their insect population. Royal Jelly. What the heck is Royal Jelly? Sounds like something you'd put on toast, but um, I'm guessing that wouldn't be very appetizing. Hmm. When I heard vaporizer, I was thinking something that just burns stuff, but no, this is <laughs> this is way more complicated than that. And plus, I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Like, why would you want something that just burns plants and stuff in... Yeah, that, that wouldn't make much sense. So gas, liquid, and solid, and in between any of them. I know that's going to come in handy, I'm just not quite sure how yet. Let's we'll see if it activates. Vaporizer chamber compromised. Chamber is not airtight. 
Mm, so I'm probably going to have to fix it. I know. Put a metal plaque over the hole. Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. And this is Gray's computer. Finally, we have more room for the Lanessi Harvai strain, which I've been working on so hard. It's days like this that humanity truly proves why it crawled out of the ocean before any other. My section has been expanded. I have more staff, true, but they are drones and have little other function. Now we can expand the research potential of Project Kitchen Knife and see what else the plants can yield. The oxygen production rate is quite unlike anything my initial projections could have predicted. Last year it became the worst kept secret on the Groom Lake, and all of a sudden I had more interns than I could comfortably employ. Their only function is to stumble about the place and ask troublesome questions that I have little time to answer. If only our world was more like that of insects. I have plenty of workers and drones, but none of the unwavering loyalty. Bees work and work, the faith in their queen unquestioning and constant. That kind of loyalty is beyond price. These interns of mine have their uses, I suppose. We always need volunteers willing to get close to the queen. Am I surrounded by incompetence? One of those imbecilic interns got too close to the queen, and she showed him her... affection. Quite amusing, though not to him. This means that I must attend another accident debriefing with the board, though. Dr. Milan does love to test me. I see him up on the hearing bench, and he grins at me in that... supercilious look that he has perfected over the years. I suppose that I have him to thank for my current position. It was his recommendation to the board that made him made them hire me in the first place. Still, I believe he has come to enjoy those these little power plays. He does so like to keep me under his heel. That, my dear doctor, is only a temporary situation. Once this project is complete, the chess games that we play so often will no longer be our only battleground. Regarding the project, some of the bug eggs failed to hatch properly. I suspect this is why the queen was more aggressive than usual. There are more than enough drones to continue the collection work. Their unique chemical properties are doing wonders for the plants, although I'm running short of interns prepared to work in close proximity to them since the last incident. The worker I appreciate the most is Akiza. I was astonished to discover that she is related to the legendary Dr. Tenshu, of the eugenics wars. I did consider mentioning it to her, but uh, I sense she is oddly ashamed to have him as her ancestor. If it wasn't for men like him, our profession would be a hollow shell of what it is now. Then again, if it wasn't for him, genetic research wouldn't have been put back by several generations, now would it? The ethical quandaries we face as men of science. Hmm. So they're training special bugs for special plants to increase growth. So they're really, they're really engineering everything. Plants, bugs, people. The insects are restless. They rumble in their apiaries and are more aggressive than usual. My personal deduction is that the presence of the marine thugs aboard the ship are the cause. Armed guards all over the place. I was stopped by one the other day and asked my reasons for going into hydroponics. Well, after explaining I was head of the damn project, I had the guard removed from his post and then the ship. This is insanity. How am I expected to progress with those with these thugs around? I recall complaining about the inundation of interns. If only they were still here now. Both Ivan and Theodore disappeared from their rooms last night, and I've had to speak to security about their whereabouts. They were Akiza's assistants, and now the production of the Queen's Royal Jelly has slowed exponentially. That's been a huge blow, but a rather extraordinary anomaly has appeared in our growth pods, a hitherto undiscovered strain of fungus. Its origin is something of a mystery to me. 
these fungal growths fascinate. At first, I, I thought it was a common garden variety mold, but after a substantial analysis performed by Akisa, it seems to harbor neuron activity. Uh, that is to say, it seems to exhibit rudimentary signs of intelligence. We've certainly created some unusual species on this deck, but the idea of a quasi-intelligent fungus growing and evolving of its own volition is exciting and, frankly, frightening. I've asked Akisa and the remnants of her team to cultivate it, but exhibit caution in where it is spread. <laughs> well, as we know, it certainly kept spreading. But Jesus Christ, yeah, there is something very, very, very up and very wrong with this mold. Which we kind of already knew, but this is starting to get into some specifics. It has rudimentary intelligence. It has neuron activity. So this is tracing it all the way back to first appearing... The fungus first appearing in the growth pods. Hmm. I want to know more about this fungus. I was asked by one of Dr. Blonde's assistants if the fungal substance discovered growing in the bowels of the ship had anything to do with us. I lied, of course, but this is becoming alarming. Our experiments flourished at first. We may have lost more staff recently, but our experiments have been very fruitful indeed. Confidentially, the properties of the fungus is both extraordinary and terrifying. It has a remarkable ability to take control of a living subject's central nervous system in hypothalamus, as observed in the monkey we used for testing. The monkey shrieked and thrashed in rage for the first few days after it was exposed, and then it became quiet, observant, and uncannily intelligent. It's certainly aggressive, but then again, which viruses aren't? <laughs> So the fungus actually has neuron activity. It's actually somewhat intelligent, and it can actually take control of a living being. God, that makes me really, really paranoid that Taya, who's helping me, may be under the influence of this, this fungus. Makes me wonder if perhaps the fungus is inside of me. Although I wonder if some people maybe are lucky and somehow immune to it or something. Hmm. No, no, no. We've officially lost control of the deck. Eden now truly belongs to the beasts. We've seen strange things. I watched as the fungus took control of the deck, as it spread through the staff, and much to my shame, I watched their deaths and examined their bodies. Nobody can cross the pods because the bugs are so aggressive that when Solomon went through in a rat suit, they ripped it from his body and stung him to death. It took mere moments. Still, I live in the hope that the insects will remember me, their creator, and perhaps see me as one of their own. God, even the bugs kill people. Well, uh, it seems like the bugs, for the most part, have died off, I guess. Or who knows, maybe there's like a roving group of super-intelligent bugs that have grown out of control just moving around the ship and I just haven't seen them yet. All I've seen are pretty normal bugs just hanging around a couple bodies and that's been it. They just seemed like flies, nothing, you know, nothing aggressive. Uh, I hope I never encounter them. Write some emails. From Tenshu to Dr. Gray. Regarding my family. Dr. Gray, I do not wish to seem unprofessional or impolite, but I would ask that you not press me on the subject of my ancestry any further. I was nearly refused entry to medical school on the basis of my family's background, and the torment I suffered at the hands of my school peers regarding my great uncle, my great great uncle, was unbearable. I'm fully aware of his actions, and I've seen countless photographs and documents of the consequences of his work. I took this position to change our world for the better, not to be reminded of the skeletons in my family's closet. 
I've enjoyed our working relationship thus far, Dr. Gray, but I'd prefer my family history no longer be a topic of our conversations. Thank you for understanding. From some other doctor to Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray, I enjoyed our meal yesterday. It was refreshing to hear a man so outspoken on this ship. I appreciate your candor, and I do agree that perhaps it's time the board was shaken up a little. Although this is merely an observation rather than an action plan, I think the top leadership needs some new blood. I'd second you, if you decided to take on the challenge yourself. Your impeccable scientific pedigree more than qualifies you. By the way, did you know where they were keeping that new cargo? It seems rather like a waste of resources, if they won't even tell us where it is. These don't go well together. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? Seriously, what the fuck is that noise? It sounds almost like a... Mm. At first it sounded kind of like a weird, a strange bird's cry, but then it sounded like a dying animal. I don't think I want to know. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I've got a vaporizer chamber in there, and a locked door, and then there's also two other ways to go. Towards where all the vines seem to be growing out of, or... Towards another laboratory over here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.